Welcome to Luxembourg and welcome to the biggest fleet delivery of electric minibuses ever delivered in Europe. This is Carsan e Attack. I'm Okan Baş. I'm the CEO of Karsan. I've been in the automotive business uh, more than 35 years. And the last six years of this 35 years is in Karsan as the CEO of the company. Karsan is uh, one of the founders of automotive industry in Turkey. Karsan has a history of more than 55 years. Basically, we are a company highly experienced in the automotive industry, working with a startup spirit. And in the last three years, we have been in the transformation of the automotive industry sector, as you know, which is being transformed to electrification. Today, in less than three years, we have reached a product range from six meters up to 18 meters, all electric, which is the unique brand in Europe who have this complete range. Today is a very important day for us. Luxembourg is the first city where we have a fleet of 89 vehicles. We are very proud to have this opportunity in a city of Luxembourg, which we know has very high standards in urban transportation area, which is also giving us a very good reference and which is also teaching us in making our product better. And this is going to be a very unique example for all the potential customers all around Europe to expand our potential in Europe. That's why today is very important for us. Welcome to Zales Lenz. My name is George Hilbert. I'm the CEO of the company. I'm uh, pleased to present to you our company and our operations. In uh, a few numbers, uh, we have 1,250 uh, people working at the company, 1,000 drivers, 80 technicians uh, to manage the fleet and maintain the fleet. We have a total fleet of 740 vehicles. There are nearly 500 buses and the other vehicles are minibuses and, and vans. We have today a total of 120 zero emission vehicles and I'm proud to present today to you uh, 32 electric uh, vehicles from the manufacturer Karzan from Turkey, uh, the e attack These vehicles joined our fleet in the last weeks and they will start their operation on 17th of July why this particular date? Because that is the start of the summer holidays in Luxembourg and there will be a change in, in the schedules and at the same time uh, it, it's the day where a lot of bus lines will change from diesel buses to electric buses. Welcome to Luxembourg, welcome to Voyage Emil Weber. Voyage Emil Weber is a family company which exists since 1875. It's a family company, it's still a family company in the fifth generation. And here we have our main depot called Rechschlitt, which is a depot uh, uh, opened in um, 2007. You have here uh, the gasoline station, the washing station, three halls uh, to park the vehicles and you have uh, the maintenance uh, center. Uh, we have approximately uh, 700 uh, buses and also uh, taxis and minibuses and also campers. In 2017 we started with our electrification program called Empowering Mobility. We got the first buses and we tried different types of uh, buses also and also manufacturers. And uh, here in the back we see for instance the one, the model from Kazan, which arrived last year. We got the first uh, 
buses from uh, Kazan and in total in the end we will have approximately 30 buses from uh, Kazan but we also have buses from other uh, manufacturers so that we could learn to handle uh, all the elements that you need for at the ele electrification of mobility. What is interesting, um, the Kazan vehicles are low flow vehicles um, but they will operate on regional bus lines. If you look at the country of Luxembourg, uh, there's the capital, Luxembourg City, and then we have two, three other major cities in the south of the country. But the north of the country is very rural, so a lot of villages. And in this rural area, the bus lines are the key public transport um, network uh, for, for the residents in this area. And the Luxembourg Ministry of Transport decided uh, a year and a half ago in their uh, European public tender that these lines should be driven with smaller vehicles. And uh, Zalas Lenz, on our side, we are happy to find a manufacturer, Carzan, to, to specify to, together with them a vehicle that fits exactly on the needs of, uh, of the Luxembourg Ministry of Transport. So we have the nine meter electric e attack and it will drive in the north. So it's a perfect size on regional bus lines where there are less passengers, but where the frequency uh, is 30 minutes or 60 minutes uh, frequency on, on the bus line. We have a lot of uh, different types of vehicles, starting with minibuses, around 200. Then you have uh, the, the, the buses uh, that we use for public transport. There we are, right? we are, have approximately 600. And then we have coaches. There we have uh, approximately 70 uh, coach buses. So it's because the activities of Voyage Emil Weber are so uh, different, so that we have vehicles for every kind of business that we run. A few other words about Zalas Lenz. Uh, in our company we have 13 different bus depots. We have depots in the north of the country, uh, four major depots, which host uh, about 60 vehicles and 110 drivers at, at each depot. Zalas Lenz is a company that has always adapted uh, innovation and new technologies at a very early stage. For example, in 2009 we had the first full hybrid buses to operate in our company. We had the first electric uh, hybrid vehicles, so plug-in vehicles in 2016 introduced at our company and the first 12 meter low flow buses in Luxembourg to be operated uh, starting uh, in summer 2016. We also uh, kicked off with four autonomous um, shuttles in 2018 and as I mentioned now 120 electric buses. There will be more to come in 2023 and 2024. So we expect to, to reach 50% of our, our entire fleet to be zero emission by 2025. When the buses are entering our site, our depot, uh, you have uh, the system that is checking on the ground when the tires are driving over it. So we control the tire pressure and also if the tires are still uh, okay. And if one tire is not okay, we got a, a message in our maintenance center that the bus uh, number EW, I don't know, has to be checked. No? So it's quite a very modern depot that we have here uh, in, in Kanach and the maintenance center that we have in the back. There we are quite um, independent because we are able to repair buses quite completely. So we had already buses where we had uh, bigger accidents and uh, well, it takes time to repair them sometimes, but we are able, we have all the competences uh, together so we can check all the buses, repair all the buses, not only the buses, the coaches, the taxis, the vehicles and so on. Public transport in Luxembourg is free for the user. Of course, uh, there are costs behind it. Uh, these costs uh, are, are carried entirely by, by the Luxembourg Ministry of Transport uh, in the way that there are public tenders uh, for the different bus lines. Uh, the operator, the bus operator is then paid by the Luxembourg Minister of Transport. So we do not have any revenue from tickets, there are no tickets anymore. And also already in the past two years, uh, the ticket sales went entirely to the Luxembourg Ministry of Transport. It's the only country in the world that offers public transport for free on trains, on tram and on the buses in the entire country. And we have 
the first example of our next phase, which is autonomous. One is in North America, Michigan University. The other is in Norway, Stavanger, who chose us and had obtained the permission to run on the public roads, carrying real customers, being autonomous. It's the first example, not being a prototype. We don't expect hundreds of units in a very short time because autonomous issue is a game changer. It's not destructive paradigm shift because you're going to be using the vehicles without drivers. This is not easy for the public to digest and all the regulation providers to accept in the first shot. But the days will come because there is a very high pressure from all sides to be autonomous. I don't say the autonomous of the cars, but the autonomous of the buses. Mass transportation is going to come earlier. And we know this. Maybe in three years, maybe in four years, I don't know, but it's going to come. We want to get prepared for it. That's our motto and so far we are running for it. Thank you so much for watching the video here today. And if you like what you see, please press the button down here. That's called subscribe. And then you will see all the future videos from Bus Magazine here on YouTube. Until next time, drive safe and have a good day.